was wondering what you were reading. Huh? Those books are for promising young people trying to enter the world of law and master the Japanese legal system. A dog is never going to have a use for it, so why bother? Oh, shut up. I can read whatever I want. If you're going to keep complaining, I can fill your head with my thoughts about my inviolable right to read to you. Keep it to yourself. More importantly, I need you to help me look for something. <sighs> I'm busy reading. I'll pass. You little parasite. <sighs> if you're gonna be that way about it, do us both a favor and die already. You can reread your headstone as much as you like. God, <gasps> she's terrifying! Fine, fine. So, what are we looking for? One of my bras. It's black with a little lace on it. What? Do you even wear bras? Considering how flat-chested you are, I didn't think you need... <laughs> ah! We'll start looking right now. I really like that bra, you know. Honestly speaking, I'm not very good at finding lost objects. You're a dog, so be a good dog and use that nose of yours for something other than pervert business. Ugh, my nose, huh? Okay, I got it. <laughs> what the hell, dog? What did you jump at me for? That was completely unacceptable. You want to use my nose to find your bra? I need to have your scent to find out what it smells like. If that's the case, I suppose I should let you up here. Let's see if this works. I'm not gonna lie, it's strange for me too. Oh, don't move around so much. Hey! You horny hound! What do you think you're doing, rubbing your entire body up and down mine like that, you sleaze? What? Ridiculous. I'm pretty sure we have to get to know each other better first. That was way too sudden. What? What do you mean, get to know each other? I didn't touch your tits, all right? At least I think I didn't. Who could tell? <laughs> oh, I'm so jealous of you! This rough robe's digging into your skin, hanging there helpless and abandoned with no one to help you. Mama, what do I have to do to experience such an intense punishment? Tell me! I'll tell you. Why don't you untie me? Come on, help a guy out here. Oh, Susan. Oh. Huh? Oh. What are you doing here? What? The mistress, you told me you needed me right away. Then leave here just as quickly. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Now, of course, I'll give you the same call when you make it back to your office. So hurry back, okay? <gasps> of course I will, miss. Or you could just let her stay here, help you out, and save her all the wear and tear on her body. Don't ruin it. She's throwing me a bone, Mr. Dog. <laughs> I've had enough of this idiot. You're looking for your lost bra? Yeah, it was with the laundry I put here yesterday. It's got to be around here somewhere. Is it your favorite, mistress? 
Now, I'm a fan of having rope around my breasts instead. But what kind of bra are you looking for again, ma'am? Lacy and black with a design. Right in the center of it. And, well, it's really kind of... Listen up, canine. Even if you find it, you better not stare at it. Uh... <gasps> you stupid dog. You've got some nerve goofing off on me like that. Now get off your lazy butt. You just keep doing it. I can't take any more of this. What? Don't you understand? You're committing a serious crime against books and readers right now. Seven literary sins. Number one, disturbing someone while they're reading. So now you're going to tell me there are actually six more of these? Yeah, so listen good. Number two, giving spoilers. Number three, treating books carelessly. Number four. <laughs> that was close. Are you trying to kill me? Sorry, but being bored to sleep has an adverse effect on my aim. Careless, 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 kitty Hime. That was pretty accurate for someone who was nodding off. <laughs> Huh? Oh! Ow! What is this? Make it bigger? <laughs> oh, nothing's more important than recognizing your own weaknesses and being willing to overcome them. And pressing on in the face of imminent failure speaks volumes about your character, right? I'm sure impressed. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you want those to be your last words? Where are we going, mistress? Looking in the apartment didn't turn up anything, so I thought we'd try expanding the area of our search. I came up here to exercise yesterday. Oh, so maybe you forgot to bring it home with you. I could see you not noticing if you weren't wearing a brassiere or not, mistress. Miss Hiragi, these lockers are really sturdy. I bet you'd like to test them with your skull. Of course I would. <laughs> Face first if you like. <laughs> what kind of person misplaces their underwear anyway? Following every lead is the ironclad rule that every detective must follow, you dopey dog. Detective, huh? Well, the last thing I'd want to be is a private panty <laughs> dick. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Huh? But what in the hell are you doing here? What do you mean? You're still a boy, so go wait outside in the lobby for me. You're not fooling anyone, you indecent beast. <sighs> Seriously, will you please stop calling me stuff like that? <sighs> because I myself am attractive. I have the luxury of looking at all the girls I want without suspicion of any ulterior motives. Way too much information. Besides, I told you I'm not interested in three-dimensional girls. Don't try to hide it. When people like you get indoctrinated in sins of the flesh, you're usually insatiable, horny little hound. Ugh, enough already! Dirty dachshund. Stop it, I said! Perverted puppy. Knock it off! Everyone is looking at us. Well, it's not here either. Maybe we just have to consider it stolen. Huh? An underwear thief? If that's the case, he'll have to pay for his egregious sins against me with his body. <laughs> I'll start by flaying him and sewing his skin back on inside out. Maybe I should switch to psychology books. Of course, when you think about how tight security is around here, I'm pretty sure there wasn't a thief. Hmm? Hey, Natsuno, what's shaking, girl? You're looking good as usual. Let's feel the burn together. Let's, Let's feel, feel the burn together. Great, it's the muscle brigade. I can already feel myself suffocating. I have a training menu planned for today, if you'd care to join me. Why don't we feel the burn and sweat together, Natsuno? <gasps> Sorry, Ron Reiki. Maybe some other time. Those of you interested in my special bust enhancing menu, make sure you gather around these bus. He did say bust enhancing. Now that I think about it, I haven't felt my burn today. And now's a good time for me to search your apartment again. <laughs> ah, I can finally read. <laughs> oh, my lactic acid is building up. It hurts so good. <laughs> Will this really increase the size of my breast? Uh, of course not. The fat in your breast is going to burn all the way off. Then we can start the amazing process of giving you a powerful chest like the one I have. That doesn't sound very breast enhancing to me, mistress. Hmm? What's this? 
could it be? I see. So I just found Natsuno's bra. Holy shit, I've got Natsuno's bra. Maybe it was last night. I was a little cold with just a blanket, so I was looking for something else to sleep under. This isn't good. This is not good. <laughs> I'll start by flaying him and sewing his wretched skin back on inside out. She's gonna skin me alive if she finds out! Mistress, look at this. Maybe it was a thief after all. No. The book. Is something wrong? This thief couldn't open this drawer? Oh? The dog's been in here. We're gonna have to ask him if he's seen anyone come in the room. I completely failed at destroying the evidence. I have to hide it somewhere. She'll never find it. And pretend I don't know anything about it. <coughs> uh, uh, it's the mini demon! That's a little fluff! Fluff, fluff, fluffy, fluff, fluff! fluff. Uh, no! Stop it! So, did you buy more books from my daddy's store? Let's see what you got today. Uh, hey! This is... Uh... Ah! Wow! That's a really pretty yeah. bag, girl! Give it back! Hmm. The cups aren't as big as my sister's are. Hmm. But it feels so nice and smooth against my skin. Hey, you think I could have that back now? Hey, Kuro, stealing underwear is a crime, or don't you know that? Huh? Yeah, you ain't heard about it. Another lady on TV said it was called giving into temptation. What a big vocabulary you have, Yayoi. Hey, wait! I really think we need to talk to a policeman. It's okay, Kuro. I'll tell him what a good dog you really are, okay? Come on! This is my chance! <laughs> <laughs> dog? He hasn't been by yet today. Yeah, that pest. I don't suppose you'd know where he'd go other than a store. Well, let's see. It's not so much that he goes anywhere, as people seem to see him around the strip. So, out in the street then? Yeah. He's getting really popular in the neighborhood nowadays. And when he goes shopping with that little pack of his, he's just so cute you could eat him up. He's winning everyone's affection indiscriminately. Attention whore. Not to mention, holding him feels really good. He's so warm. They're holding him? He's so fluffy and warm, you just can't <laughs> help yourself. <laughs> I'm increasing his punishments. Miss Natsuno? Hey, I'm sorry I took all your precious time, okay? See you some other time. Uh, I'm sorry I couldn't give you more information. I'm kind of worried for him, you know? What? It's just the streets. There have been a lot of traffic accidents. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for blocking your way for even an instant. I'm sorry for making you expend energy uselessly because of me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's fine. I'm sorry. I should kill myself right now. Oh, but... Cause Sakura trouble if I died in front of this door. <laughs> I'm never considerate about my suicides. I'm sorry, Sakura. Where in the hell did that damn dog run off to, anyway? Stupid dog. <laughs> this murderous rage. It's gotta be her. Oh no, she's nearby. I gotta do this quick. <laughs> A song? <laughs> What is that? <sighs> I'm a lonely maid. 
And sometimes my days are filled with tragic and unbearable loneliness. She's monologuing? But I won't be beaten. After all, I have my love from my mistress to sustain my lonely heart. Give it a rest, Cinderella. My sister is always bullying and treating me like dirt, but I won't lose. Do you hear me, big sister? As long wow. as I have these I guess I was right, huh? in my heart and this song on my lips, I will never give up my battle. Behold the power of the mighty servant! But that's it. I won't, I won't lose. lose. I, won't I won't fail, fail lady, for I am a maid. maid. That's from Revelations of the Mighty Servant. That highly artistic book won several literary awards and was well received overseas. And it was written by the young master beyond the abyss. No one else but Momoji Himihagi. Oh, amazing. I can't believe she's recreating the dance from the novel so perfectly. Exactly hiding, you know. You saw me. I know nothing. <laughs> Someone saw me. Someone saw me. What am I going to do? You die. What? Yes, that's right. Now that he knows a secret I even keep from my mistress, I cannot let him live, even if he is only an animal. I'll make you sparkling clean with your own blood. <gasps> with my beloved broom. The Zapper of Corruption! What? That's not even a broom! <laughs> Come on! with chicks and blades in my life anyway. I underestimated you. It seems the former ace servant of the 13th Tem Squad has lost her edge. Yes! The street's just ahead! Uh... <laughs> I'm saved! <laughs> You're kidding! Seriously? Really? Am I going to die again? No! I want to read more of Shinobu Akiyama's books! I'm not letting you die that easily, you stupid dog! <gasps> and attacks a poor animal. Apparently maids these days are sorely in need of training. Well, that's a nice weapon you've got there. Not that it stands a chance against my broom blade, the Zapper of Corruption. lucky today but our blades will meet again it'll be sooner than you think and I won't accept defeat <laughs> I'm not passing up a chance to get those potatoes no doubt in my mind my mistress will like them What the hell was that about? Maids these days are really terrifying. Are you all right? Are you hurt? I'm fine. Thank you. You little... Natsuno. Oh, you went and 
got all dirty. What happened anyway? Uh, well, I. Uh, <gasps> Well, you see, Miss Natsuru, there, there's a good reason for this. <laughs> you saw it, didn't you? What? <laughs> you mean the little dog in the middle? It really was your favorite, wasn't it? A dog. A miniature dachshund? Don't tell me you... <laughs> You really are a dog lover. <laughs> and you like miniature dachshunds. That one really got by me. I guess I'm really lousy at being a pet. Mm. It's humiliating, but at least I'm alive. I guess I should try to act as dog-like as possible so she'll forgive me. <laughs> Maybe this whimpering will do the trick. Let's do this! <laughs> Time for you to make your choice. What? A, die. B, die. And C, you're definitely gonna die. D! I'm choosing D! Hey, Natsuno! There is no D, dumbass! Ah! Therefore, I will inflict all three of them on you three times each. I told you you weren't gonna die easily, but I never said anything about long and painfully. What happened to all that? Are you hurt? Oh, you're dirty! Let me help! Crap! <laughs> Can't we just get along for God's sake? <laughs> no! Scissors! Get out of here! No scissors! <laughs>